Uh, thank you. Um, first of all, welcome on uh, on this press conference. Um, in front of you, there is a, a disappointed coach. A disappointed coach because um, the result and the way of playing against Morocco what is not what I expected. Um, I can say that we had the best camp since I was here as a Bafana Bafana coach. The travel to Morocco was very good. We had three days to recuperate about that exhausting trip, a trip of nearly 20 hours. But we had three days to recuperate. We had fantastic training facilities in, um, in Morocco. The team was enthusiastic, was motivated. We had really a good feeling that we could pay, make a good result against Morocco. But individual mistakes and tactical mistakes made that we didn't win. When I see the first half, we started very good, we scored a goal, and from that moment it's like there was fear in the team to lose what we had already. And there were maybe five, six chances that Morocco had. We had a very good goalkeeper in our goal, Ronald, the second time, also against France. He was outstanding. But from the five, six chances Morocco had in the first half, there were four individual mistakes that made the chances of Morocco. They came two times alone in front of uh, Ronwell, and every time Ronwell saved. So I was a little bit disappointed about our performance because I didn't expect it. And I'm not surprised now that there will be again critics about the team, about myself as a coach, because yes, when you are a coach, you are responsible for the results. And it's not only now. It started already after the game against Ghana. And recently, and that was a big surprise for me, four days before the game against Morocco, suddenly Pitsu Mosimane needed to criticize me about something that happened last year in September. Because we didn't send a report, a medical report, to Halali about the injury of um, Percy Tau. So, I don't want to tell all the story, but it's not what Pitsu said. It's not that. But he was criticizing me. And I have an enormous respect for that coach, because what he did in the last years was fantastic. But he disappointed me as a colleague. When you have such troubles in your own team, like he has at that moment, I don't understand why you have to criticize a colleague. So I'm very disappointed in him about that. But I think it's a time now to face the real problem. And what is the real problem of South Africa? The real problem of South Africa is that we don't have those high quality players. We don't have those players like our three last opponents, Ghana, France and Morocco. When you see those, those uh, teams, Ghana, 90% of the players were players of Europe. France, I don't have to explain you which players are playing in the team of France. All players are playing in big European teams. But also Morocco. When you see the selection of Morocco, there was only, only one player, one player of the Champions League winner, Widat Casablanca, and it was the goalkeeper. For the rest, there was no player of the Champions League winner, no player. I think that shows enough. All those players are playing in big European teams. Fiorentina, Sevilla, PSG, 
we don't have those players. We don't have those quality players who are playing in Europe. And we can look at the fantastic race that Sundowns and Pirates did in the, Confeder in the Confederation Cup and in the, in the Champions League. But Sundowns lost the semi-final. Pirates lost the final. And who won? Two Moroccan teams. Widat Casablanca won the Champions League and Berkan won the Confederation Cup. When I talk about quality players, and when you see that even in Morocco there was no player, I repeat, there was no player of those teams in the selection except the goalkeeper. I think that shows enough. And therefore, again, let's face the problem. Let's face the problem of South Africa. And the problem is that the level of our PSL is not high enough. We don't make players with high quality. Our best player, I think you agree, our best player is Percy Tau. He has problems. He has problems in his team, Al Ali. Even with a South African coach who wanted him, he don't succeed there. And there was an old uh, Al Ali player who said, and I quote, it's not my words, I quote him, Percy Toe don't have the qualities to play in the team like Al Ali. I think there is the problem. And if South Africa is not facing that and going on what you're doing already 20 years, firing the coach and hoping that the next coach will have uh, results without solving the problem, then I will be the 17th coach in 20 years who will be fired in a few months. But the problem still there, still will be there. We have to sit together in this country. And we have to face the problem and see what we can do on this problem. Together. Not I alone. Not I don't know who. No, together. With all the coaches. With the league. With everyone who is involved in football. And see what we can we do here to increase the quality of South African football. We did it in my country. In 2006, we didn't have the big players. We were not on European Championship and World Cups anymore. And we look what happens here. And we took measures. We saw what, what we needed and we did it. And 10 years later, later, Belgium was first in the ranking of FIFA. 10 years later. So we did something on the problem because it was the same problem at that time in Belgium too. We didn't have the high quality players. So we changed something in development of players. We try to increase the, le the level of our competition. Why can't we do it here? Why can't we do it here? So I hope, I hope, really I hope that that can happen in the next months. That everybody is aware of the problem of South African football. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean that I'm not believing anymore in qualifying for AFCON. The defeat against Morocco doesn't change anything. We have to win two times against Liberia or having at least four points. If we have four points against Liberia, we are qualified because there is only one game to play for Liberia and it's against Morocco. So if they win, they have three points, finished. So we have to do it and you, have, you don't have to expect that I will change a lot in the group I have now. Because changing is restarting. I don't want to restart again. I know what I have now with the group and this is a very good group. This is a group who has to be able to qualify for Africa. But we need to give them confidence. 
We don't need them to criticize every time or uh, criticize the coach and uh, creating uh, a, a negative atmosphere around his team. Let's be positive and let's support that team. I know these guys won't give their life to be next year in Ivory Coast. I saw that in the last camp. They were motivated. They wanted to go to the limit. But if you play against a team who has many more qualities than yourself, you can only fight. You can only fight. What we did, what we did against France, what we did against Ghana. But again, again, the quality at the end, the quality will decide. That's football. That's football. And there can be a miracle somewhere that a, a team who has less quality win against a big team. It can happen in football. But those are coincidences. So again, let's believe in the group that played against Morocco. I believe in it. I believe in the guys. I will give them confidence because I know they will be motivated to win two times against Liberia. And it's possible. We don't play against Morocco. So, again, support that team. Be a little bit more positive. And you will see it, we, have, we will have a happy hand in September. Thank you very much.